Hello Off Grid fans. It's been a while. I have actually had some videos that I've filmed but not uh, edited. Maybe this one will get added to the list. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit it. But um, sometimes after the events I like to do an enduro aftermath where I walk down the stage and have a look at uh, how cut up it got, how it changed and uh, yeah I just I just like to see and it it's good for me then to judge other events and it's also a good walk for Freya. Isn't it Freya? You like it don't you? So anyway here we are at Dragonfly which was stage two and uh, this was the start you can see various people have been moving around but no big holes yet but I have spotted that over there which is what made me get the camera out and think of you guys and uh, whether you'd like to join me to see how stuff is oh, look even though this is biodegradable tape that we use even edible by deer I still also pick up any bits of uh, rubbish or tape so yeah chewed up that left this inside line open it was like a little cheat line before we used to go to there thinking that people would use it but not knowing whether that route on the outside had cut up and actually it's these inside ones but yeah so i don't know who else was up this weekend of, of watching this where they enjoyed our last round of the series but i like it here because we get uh uh, we get to use these loamy stages. It's not that used a forest, so it doesn't get battered. Uh, and uh, yeah, the locals have been in sprucing stuff up because we get a lot of support here from the locals. It's all unofficial, so I can't name any names, but the locals know who they are and who does bits of work and stuff. So thank you, you know who you are. But yeah, this is, um, obviously it wasn't wet, it was quite a dry weekend. But uh, it's all held up so far pretty good. Uh, multiple options here, because this is a little bit droppy, this line. So it looks like most people went down here, or the people that went down here were on the brakes most, <laughs> maybe. But yeah, can you see this this line here is a bit of a you can roll it, it is rollable, but it's a bit of a drop, so there's also this line, and that one's the one that's been cut up. Anyway, I'll wander down and turn the camera back on at the next interesting bit. So what was up there was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, but down here, I've not looked yet, but this is where uh, I expect some wear. So here, been a bit breaking into this corner and uh, pulling them roots out. Now normally there's a straight line here and uh, I often get asked why we don't leave this in as an airline because we have other airlines that are harder than that and it's basically because this line crosses it and I, I'm not having someone come flying down when there's someone going round the B line. So because it crosses, we have to block this, uh, what would be the A line off. But the uh, the crew would put a fair bit of work into this turn. And uh, yeah, I mean, that bit's not gonna wear, it's solid rock. But there, all of that's held up well. And uh, here, were actually people had been riding over it and it had sort of collapsed it a bit. I didn't know if that would slide out a bit there. Uh, but uh, no, it looks to be all good. And I forced you to go all the way around to here. And yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Right, I'll see you a bit further down. Oh, this bit's... Uh, taking a little bit of wear but nothing too bad just uh, some normal sort of routage wouldn't have made a lot of difference if you were first or last down that's what I'm guessing Freya's been checking out ahead 
and that's where I am off to. So this bit uh, has held up okay. Multiple lines left this top line in. You could go not off the jump, round the jump, so like three lines there. And a bit of fun before you hit the uh, traversy, pedally bit. But uh, ooh, looks like this bit cut up a little bit just to slow you down before the uh, little flat climb traverse. What can I get away with calling it? You're definitely pedalling. <laughs> right, let's see you further down. So just here at the end of the traverse, didn't expect to be filming here. I can see this has cut up a little bit. I would have, at the end of the traverse, that wouldn't have been easy for to deal with. Just annoying, not so much hard, just annoying. So this is where I did think there might be a little bit, uh, just on this general section. And you can see it's just the starting of breaking bumps after, I mean, it's quite a, a steep slope in. And then you turn and uh, that's, uh, well, it's just about held up. For, but I think most people would have just been covered on the inside. There's only the odd person who will have been going on there and jumping into this slope. But there will have been someone. Hence why it's collapsed a little bit. Or more than someone. There will have been some people. <laughs> but uh, this bit looks reasonable. And the berm looks sweet. All good that. All good. This bit's another bit that's uh, taken a little bit of hammer. It's got this really fine dust on it. You can't, you can't really see, but uh, it's like a talcum powdery dust. And then this corner will always be tricky because there's, well, you go in adverse camber and then there's roots. But we don't want you going too fast as you head down here to these uh, two little, well, they can be jumps. This first one's more rollable. Well, they are both rollable. We did have a beeline for the second one. But yeah, I don't want to carry too much speed into here. This is all held up really well. And I can see from here the jump is in perfect, perfect condition. Look at that. In fact, it's better than before the event. Look how bedded in that is. That's all good. And you see that you could have just rolled over. And you can see some tire tracks on the end one. So some people did or didn't get too far, but I think most people did. But it looks like the beeline got a reasonable amount of use to get bedded in. You can see how we've been struggling to, like it's only a week after the event, or not even a week after the event, and the wind has blown down twigs and branches and whatever so it's always a rush in that last week to get everything raked and get it in prime condition for the event but yeah almost at the bottom Frank is having fun all right this i quite like this turn because you can't <laughs> it's it's completely blind but you've sort of seen it when you were over there if you did look ahead uh, but yeah, it's completely blind until the last minute, but it's got a, a really good uh, line. So you can carry a lot of speed if you remember, even though you can't see which way it's going. And uh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is getting dustier. The closer we get to the bottom, the more of this like talcum powder dust there is. No holes, it's just dust. But yeah. Oh, almost at the bottom, Freya. You'll be able to have a drink in the stream. This corner, just trying to catch out with sideways roots. But all of, uh, all this isn't doing so bad. And the new pipe bridge is, again, well bedded in. It's been a beautiful day again here. 
on a beautiful evening up to here but uh, before I go down, being that we can see the view from over here I'm going to stand, oh, stand on top of this tree stump so uh, crop tree forest so it goes all the way up that hill there and that's uh, Craig Nelder I think and then Ken's more of Fleet which I rode up a couple of times while I was here Ah, right on the top. But yeah, that's uh, 2,333 foot. And Craig Nell was a bit less, but you can see the forest going up here. So next year we might have a wander over there. Maybe Freya, eh? Maybe. So a little sneak peek for those of you still watching my uh, Enduro Aftermath video. Anyway, let's go and have a look at this final droppy bit come on Freya, go go so I saw some great, oh that's a that's a bit more cut up than I was expecting I saw some great photos I'm guessing from there and people really cutting this corner uh, and and jumping down. I put the pole a little bit back just so you couldn't sort of jump off off that bit there. <laughs> uh, you had to get uh, get up here, and uh, yeah, down this final little steep shooty bit. This uh, this end trail used to be more twisty, but then you can see a lot of things sort of fell over so now we, it's it's all over here. I think we used to go that side of this tree here and when it was first built pre-Storm Arwen. Oh that's fairly channeled out. Fair hole there, especially with that rock sticking out. And again, just loads of dust. Obviously down there, it's all dragged down and piled up here. But yeah, may as well take you to the finish. But yeah, if you were here at uh, weekend, if you're here for this final Hope PMBA Enduro Series triple header final of Hope Academy, Hope Women and the PMBA Enduro Series then uh, yeah I hope you had fun, it was a great atmosphere and uh, yeah be looking forward to next year already I've done a little bit of planning and uh, yeah thank you very much for the support and uh, if you got this far do the old YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever it is you're supposed to do. Cheers, bye.